In the last days of planet Earth, there will be a great increase in demonic activity, and I believe we are seeing it today. Whistleblowers from Google are reporting that Google has created a sentient artificial intelligence, a computer that has literally come to life. <laughs> wow, what a perfect cover for demons to use those supercomputers to speak to men, and mankind will rush to embrace them. The demons could even claim to be aliens from another galaxy, and thanks to Star Trek and Star Wars, few would even question it. The Pope has recently suggested that UFO aliens may well be people from far, far away who did not defile themselves like we did with the original sin in the Garden of Eden. The Pope went on to say that the aliens might be coming to show us the way. This conjecture fits perfectly with the recently released government report on UFOs. Clear evidence that UFOs are real and increasing in number. Theologians have speculated that when the rapture hits and God takes away every born-again believer, Satan and godless men are going to need an explanation and saying that aliens took away all those bad Christians who were standing in the way of true spiritual enlightenment would be the perfect lie and would fool everybody left on earth. One of my friends is a Bigfoot fanatic. He studied them for years. Now, I've always been skeptical of a race of 900 pound ape men living in America. My belief is that if they were real, then we would have seen a few of them tied to the hoods of hunters' pickup trucks. But no, they are seen and then vanish, and they can't be found. So I'm slowly coming around to the possibility that Bigfoot may somehow be part of the coming demonic deception. The Bible in 1 Timothy 4 says this, now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are sealed. <laughs> we have a boatload of liars in high places in this country. The stage is set for the book of Revelation to come to life before our eyes. Brutally violent demon-oriented video games have totally captured our youth. Witchcraft is now wildly popular on college campuses everywhere. Last week I was following a little car with a bumper sticker that said, Never piss off a witch. So as I prepared to lay on my horn just to see what happened, I felt the Spirit rein me in. One of my prayers is that the Holy Spirit will keep one hand on my shoulder and the other one over my mouth. And yes, He reins me in quite often. So let me leave you with a powerful command from our Lord. 2 Timothy 4.1 I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing in his kingdom, preach the word, be ready in season and out of season, reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching. But having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. Thank you for watching, and America bless God again. <laughs>